Hello. Just activate the screen. Okay. Um, it's time for another game of Civilization VI. Sorry about the audio quality. There's something wrong with the Elgato HD60 Pro software after the latest patch or upgrade. So they broke it. <laughs> um, I fixed it by reducing the audio buffer size a lot. Um, but it still breaks up a bit on the audio, so I'll try not to say too much. But at the beginning, I've got to say, okay. So hopefully it will come through. I am going to play a single player game, but I want to play it on the real Earth with real start locations. And I want to get rid of the fog of war just so we can see what's happening. It's kind of interesting to see, basically. So single player. I'm going to create a game. Now I've downloaded some maps. The yet not another map set or something because I want to play on proper Earth with true city start locations. So I'm going to see how it all goes. Um, this doesn't always show up, but if you put in one of the city maps um, from, the, from that uh, pack, it does show up. Because I want to put all the ancient sieves on here, basically. And I'm going to play on <coughs> Giant Earth. I don't know. I haven't played on this map before. I don't know how big it is. But it's, we're going to see, right? Let's have plenty of city-states. Um, let me see. Prince. Game speed, I'm going to speed it up a bit because it may be far too many parts otherwise um, for the video. We'll see. I normally play on standard, so this might um, cause me problems. I don't know. <laughs> um, Giant Earth is the map, right? Rivers placement. So uh, import means actual locations. Yeah, okay. Continents, okay. Blimey. Natural wonders, okay. Other features from the original map. Resource pla placement, ah. Oh. Random. <coughs> or import. Let's get. Let's put the resources in the real places, shall we? That could be really tough. I don't know. True starting locations, yes. Enforce it. Initial settlers are free to move around before creating a city, or city state settlers are replaced. Are oh, actually, we put a city down there. AI have an actual city. Everyone has an actual city in their actual start location. All the settlers can move about a bit. Let's make it accurate, shall we? Civilization resources. So certain civs are going to have special resources. Seems a bit of a shame. But it's kind of like the real Earth, okay? That's what we're trying to do. I don't know how many city-states there should be, but 20 ought to be plenty on a world map. So leaders will go to the right place when available, alternatively somewhere else. Random placement for sieves without a true start location. Okay, if there is one. Bosphorus is going to stay open. A marsh for Mont Saint-Michel. Ooh. Oh, that's in its real place. Stone for Stonehenge. Well, I guess those will have, I don't know. We'll take the, op take the uh, default here. Real city names, yes. Now, what sort of victory conditions? Um, oh, there's more, right. Um, well, we're going to allow... I think I'll have to allow all the victory conditions because certain civilizations go towards a certain victory condition, don't they? And if I don't allow, say, culture victory, then some civs will just be at a disadvantage, um, which they are in real life, perhaps, <coughs> or were. I don't know. We'll do it. Limit turns by game speed. Um, <coughs> game will end at 2050 AD. So, okay. I'm going to allow the game just to end and hope I can get there. It's annoying when it just ends because you could be like two turns away from a culture victory and it just decides you've lost, which is really silly. Um, but 
That's that. Okay. I'm going to be a random leader, but I want all the ancient sieves to be in the, in the world. Um, all the most ancient sieves. Not ancient enough. She's ancient. <laughs> Gandhi, well, he's not ancient, but Indian civilization is ancient. Gilgamesh, ancient. Gorgo. That's um, Macedonia, isn't it? Or Thermopylae. Well, okay, uh, ancient Greeks of some sort. Harold is not ancient enough. Hojo, probably ancient, yeah. John Curtin, no way. Montezuma, well, yes, ancient, I guess. Or Moctezuma, as it says there, I don't know. They're always changing the spelling of these guys. Um, but we have to have somebody in Africa. I guess he's ancient. Certainly African civilization is super ancient, isn't it? Oh, come on. Pericles. Going to turn up right next to Gorgo, presumably. Pedro is not ancient. Peter the Great is not ancient. Philip II of Spain is not ancient. They're sort of descendants of the Roman Empire, aren't they? Ginshi Hang is jolly old ancient. Saladin, well, mm, I'd there are Arabians going way back. Okay. Myris. Well, there, um, there has to be somebody in Asia, and she's about as modern as I would want to get, I suppose. Killer of Cyrus the Great, it's claimed by some. Although others say he died in his bed, I think. Um, not having anything to do with her. <laughs> Trajan, ancient. And the only remaining one is Victoria, who is not ancient. No Brits, unless... The random leader, which I'm going to be, is going to be one of the others, I guess, so not so ancient. Um, right. Anything else? I don't know what how on earth this is going to play out. It may just crash. I don't know. Let's see who I am. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Prime Minister Curtin, you will lead Australia through challenge after challenge, and your people will emerge all the stronger for it. Others will seek friendship for your strength. If these friends prove loyal, your might and protection will carry you far. But stay vigilant, for aggression is not your natural course. So, 100% production if either I've received a declaration of war in the past 10 turns, or I've liberated a city in the past 20 turns. Okay. Plus three housing in coastal cities. Nice. Pastures trigger a culture bomb. Wow. Pity I'm on an isolated island continent, but anyway. Yields from campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theatre squares are plus one in tiles with charming appeal, plus three in breathtaking. I have diggers and outback stations. Right. Okay. <clears throat> the animations for John Curtin are really funny. He's he's such a dork, really. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's taking a long time loading because it's a big map. Um, so we just have to wait for it. <clears throat> so everybody else is ancient and mine is one of the surviving modern ones that I didn't include in the first place. 
which is okay, I suppose. Maybe I should have chosen an ancient one for myself, but uh, it's okay. I've got my work cut out because I'm on an isolated island continent next to, in effect, next to India, China, Japan. <clears throat> Montezuma's got the Americas to himself until somebody goes there and starts colonising, and the Brits are not there. So Montezuma might do really well with no opposition. Unless I can get over to South America somewhere and start getting in his way. But I've got to get all the way across the Pacific to do that. Could be difficult. I might snip the loading phase out of the video um, if it's uh, too long. I hope my machine has enough video memory. I think it's got eight gigabytes. I don't know. Should be all right. If not, I have to think again. Oh, here we go, right. I'm nervous now. What's going to happen? I immediately get a boost for, for sailing, for having a city on the coast. Now what I want to do is remove the fog of war so that we can compare how the civilizations behave. Um, I've added a cheat somewhere, so let's do it. Is it going to work? I don't see anything happening. Maybe it's just slow. It's frozen. Maybe it's doing something. Okay. But as I headed into the heart yeah. of New Zealand's Fjordland, that same childlike feeling, long lost, a pure, unadulterated awe, came rushing back. I knew the road to Milford Sound was good, but this good? Yeah. Several closely situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometre into the sky. What a grand sight this must present in the wet season. Waterfalls in every direction. Signe is a 250 square mile tiger trap made up on massive obelisks riddled with jagged spears. And yes, they will cut your pretty face. Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. Terrible, eh? The Pantanal is the most complex intertropical alluvial plain of the planet, and perhaps the least known area of the world. 
The natural history of this archipelago is very remarkable. It seems to be a little world within itself. Like to the apples on the Dead Sea shore, all ashes to the taste. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Never again can I gaze upon the beauty spots of the earth and enjoy them as being the finest thing I have ever seen. Crater Lake is above them all. Two wonders next to each other. Under the white cliff's battlemented crown, hushed to a depth of more than Sabbath peace. What is he talking about? Okay, we can play now. And we have our compulsory city already to start with. Um, and a guy, right. I don't really need to explore, so he might as well just go there and hang around. Oh. Are we actually supposed to speak to them all now, are we? Let me get rid of the cheat again. Right, okay. Um, fine. Well, alright, I know where the cattles are, so we'll do that. Gina Vembanzinga, ye get ye lovanam bot. Get him on a vo, Losambuka quatatanzambi. Get him on a vava mucabulan temuen. Nope. So the reveal all sheet does a bit much, to be honest. But anyway, all I want. Befodlin min, al wahidul ahad, al kawi, al montosser, a daemul ladi lay and tahimulku. Ursilu ilay katahayeti a sodik lazis. All I want to do is uh, remove the fog of war, but anyway, okay. Go. We'll do the whole lot. Gilgamesha kiengi. U Sharuru Kanaku Latadar Anaku Ibrija Tibaku Bunch of liars there, aren't they? Nikwani Tekyuak Ketel Tenostitlan Wait Latwani Tlino Tigneki Te Yao Shiwani and no so Timawiki Well he may have a big ego big ego but he's honest. Um. नमस्कार मैं मोहनदास गांधी हूं मेरे लोग मुझे बापू कहते हैं पर कृपया मुझे मित्र कहें काइर हो पेरिक्लेस तो नातेनोने मी काइ देखियुमाई से हे पेटेस डेमोक्रेटियास Nice hat, Pericles. Awe, Viator. Augusta e Roma Imperator Caesar Traianus Sum. Quis es? Qua e terra patria vocas. I caga aru. Ware wa Nihon Koku no Bushido no Shinko Sha. Hojo Tokimune. Gorgo Emi, Hava Sileia Sta Spartas, Ke Hagemon Ton Helenon. Ha! Tis esi, Tinas Nikas Hoyos Te Si Angelein. Jin, Ru Shilai Ye, Chi Yu Guan, Chin Guo Shan Chuan Ji Sheng. Gua Ren, Nai Chin Ji Zhu Ye. На феку что он мачи жагат, газ рахата и расово голтугну варзан. Полакада сагамбалда, вот дима балам он узаштам. What a bunch of creeps, eh? Anyway, muppet heads have had their say.
What do I need first of all? Well, my builder probably can't do anything much until I've got some technology. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'll need irrigation for that. We need mining for that. Do I need anything for this? No, but I'm not there. Let's... can't build a settler yet because I need at least two population. All right, let's build a monument to start with. All right. Lots of notifications about God knows what. Okay, I've discovered everything. <laughs> what do I want? I've got some boosts. I don't need the key. I don't know where I want to go or how I'm going to want to win as the Aussies, really. Um, I'll just try and found loads of cities, shall I? Actually, I need mining, don't I, first, because for this thing. Right, okay, next. And we can see the whole map, whole world here. What's going on here and here? Oh, city-states? If I look in North America, we have Toronto. What's going on here? Tenochtitlan. Or Tenoch Tenochtitlan. I don't know how to pronounce it. Rome, Valletta, Carthage. Excellent, okay. Good stuff. Ah, sheep, I need animal husbandry. I wonder what husband used deserves to mean. deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? I mean, you don't have animal wifery, do you? Oh, I have the day-night cycles enabled, just for fun. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Yeah, At me his too. best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Don't need reconnaissance. So, do well against barbarians, how about that? Faith and gold in the capital. Or extra production. Let's go for faith and gold. I don't know how I'm going to win, so I might need either of them. I might not win, of course. I'm not in the best location in the world, honestly, for, for winning. <coughs> and I don't play aggressively, and neither do the Australians much. Although, when I've played against John Curtin, he's, he's part of the Australia add-on. Um, he has been kind of aggressive, frankly. Ooh, what do I need? Let's boost it, let's go for that. Get them as fast as I can, I suppose. Hmm. I have enough faith already to found a pantheon. <coughs> now, Australia, <coughs> let's face it, it's a desert country. So, <clears throat> desert folklore, extra faith from holy site districts in, in desert, desert tiles. Let's try it, yeah. <clears throat> now, to turn that into a religion, I need a great prophet. Which means I need to be building temples and holy sites and stuff like that. I need a builder and I will soon need a settler. 
because I want to get get going. Yes. There's some villages. I could send my guy warrior out there, couldn't I? I thought clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Irrigation, I needed that for one of the things, didn't I? I think. I'm sorting out the rest. As and when. If you haven't played Civ before, the idea is to plow all the way through the tree of technology and civic advances and rule the world or something. Have the best culture, the best religion, or the most widespread religion, something of that sort. Mysticism. Ah. I suppose that's going the way I'm going to go. Are there any city-states near me? There is, there is a culture one. And a financial one. A religious one. Colombo, is it? Yeah. Can't see because of the club in the way, but I think it's Colombo. And we have a production one, Hong Kong. Okay. And how are the other guys doing? Kyoto? Tomaris, New Delhi, Greece must be a bit of a mess, Sparta was down here somewhere, so Gorgo is over here, fair enough, makes sense, you can't quite manage it here, so okay, Rome, Rome has got Western Europe to itself, it's going to be powerful. It's going to clash up against Tomyris eventually, presumably, and the Greeks. I don't have a Persian civilization, but I should have the Arabs. Okay. And the Egyptians? Yep. And the Africans. There. With a few city states. Good stuff. We'll keep an eye on them and see how they're doing. Well, all right. Don't know how they managed this at about, what, 3,700 BC? The game is essentially broken once you cheat. But it is interesting to see it this way. I don't see why I should have to play it the way they want me to play it. That should be recommendations only. Yosegi Zukuri. Hmm. Where's my next city going to be? Somewhere here, or probably up here. Queensland is pretty good. The man who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honour than its conqueror. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. If I could figure that out, he's probably right. Huh? All right, choose research. Sailing. Gonna have to get off this continent pretty soon. Production towards settlers, that could be useful. It's going to take me six turns, but I can build one in eight anyway. So there may be barbarians sp spawning, so I should probably have a weapon. 
2. Oh, an envoy can go somewhere. Wasn't Columbo a religious place? I want. If I'm going for faith, I might as well go for religious sieves. City states. Colombo, yeah. It's not in the list, right? Rather strange. I've sent an envoy already, have I? Oh, I don't understand this. Oh, it's candy. Right. But it says Colombo there. What does that mean? Let's send another one then. Now my builder. Slinger, so let's just send the warrior out to look at these villages, shall we? Ooh, Oracle. Hanging gardens. Oh, there's so much I could buy. Gonna get a settler and a granary, get the basics sorted out. that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. The Golden Hind. You can see that in my video of the South Bank walk which I uploaded today. Can He, he can do the crabs or he could do the plantation or he could do the sheep. Um, let's do the sheep first. I'll probably have to build another builder. They have three hits each by default. Thirty turns I can get to Caravel if I really want to. Ooh, plus eleven. Forty 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 one turns. Mm, I need Um, what can I say? Religious nonsense. Right. They, the Romans used to make toothpaste out of crushed mouse skulls. What a delicacy. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. So there.
Hmm, so tough. I don't know what to do, really. Um... I get ahead on the shipbuilding somehow. Entek Nensha who er heper embach by ye en. By ye ek mesha hezi. Dodgy looking and stupid. Who to stress as a si hoste to Haima Peo game? So, are any of them telling the truth? They contradict each other. No te mini capa pa kisi kamo jaujoto, wal te potsto katla kael. Suppose they paint and proscore and pollen for Semon. Any more? Yes. Simile lawis, caelesti regno, imperium tui late patet. Optime. You know, um, can I purchase a builder? I can. Let's do it. Got some money coming in, you see. Oh, change of tone. Chocolate. See, Montezuma is good for something. Montezuma. Am I to take it that these have spread already or something? No. They're just being insulting for the sake of it. Builder, go here. Oh, should go here. Build some crabs. There we go. Settler combined with the slinger. And. Ooh. There's a village there. And there's a village there. What is a good location for me, though? Somewhere on the coast, kind of here. Something like this. Like another slinger. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. Correct, Marcus. Because the leaders that we see here are the lowest of the low. Well, it hasn't got all of the worst ones, but it's got a lot of scum, let's face it. Some new forms of government going. City.
city is expanding rapidly. I suppose that's because I've got it on quick speed. <laughs> the game, so it speeds up things Without like this. craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. No, I don't want to change policies. I'm into builders, and I'm sorry, I'm into settlers. I like to see a try. Scumbag. I can only build it there. Oh no. What does it require? Adjacent to stone. What about... What if I build this then? Buy that. And can I build Stonehenge there? No! What does Stonehenge give me? Is it really worth it? Free great profit. And extra faith. Ooh. Gold. Can I purchase a granary? So that will help me grow whilst I'm wasting time building Stonehenge, okay. Go for it. Who needs food? Place that wheat field. I got a free scout. For some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, because of this. Okay. Good. Out. Too close to tribal village? What? Is there a tribal village in, in sight? Go there. It's, it's the only one I can see. Very nice. Produce a monument. I think monuments help your borders expand a bit more rapidly. Sell now. We'll let the scout find that. Uh oh. Builder, come here. How did that happen? <laughs> Very strange. Only three turns for Stonehenge. What is going on? 
I mean, that's good, but how come? Okay, I've used up my builder again. A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. Ancient wonders. Reduced unit maintenance. Okay. I'm tempted to build a builder up here to help this city. To purchase one if I can afford it. Yes, I can. I'm making quite a good income. Oh, it's those villagers. What about those villagers? Nothing? Oh well. Well, um, warrior. Well, let's see. I think hang around here and you can... I'll be founding a city down here somewhere. This looks like a good spot, somewhere like this, where I can get these things. Probably on the coast and the river because I get bonuses for that. <clears throat> Too close to tribal village. Again, what's it talking about? Is that just because I can see them on the entire map? I can only see that one over there. Are there is there another one? bizarre. Go across the uh, Kalgoorlie Desert or whatever it's called. And Thank you. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. Oh yeah, pastures produce a culture bomb. That's why it's so good for Aussies. A culture bomb gives you way extra territory. Stonehenge should be appearing soon. Stonehenge. Can you imagine trying to talk 600 people into helping you drag a 50 ton stone 18 miles across the countryside and muscle it into an upright position and then saying, right lads, another 20 like that, then we can party. Hmm. You're not managing it. Zhu Kuan Guaren, Jiang Yu Zhu Kuang, Wen Wu Zhu Sheng, Er Gui Guo, He Yu Hu. Ha. I say, ha. What is this? John the Baptist, whoa. Found religion. Ooh, I just found one. Do 
choose religion. Now, what's it going to be? <clears throat> John the Baptist, after all, should be Christianity, but let's... Or Catholicism, technically, I suppose, but... I could try randomising it. Close my eyes, pick one. Where's a mouse? It's over here. Well, Buddhism. I don't know. I'd rather make up my own. What's appropriate for Aussie? Well, I have no idea. Snakes. Australia. Yeah. Requires a name. <coughs> Aussie is on my... <coughs> Ooh, I've got some beliefs. Plus one production for each follower could be useful. All world wonders provide plus four faith. <coughs> May purchase campus and theatre square district buildings with faith. <coughs> that could be very interesting because that would help me towards... Um, science and culture victories as well because I don't see me wanting to send out flipping missionaries all the time I get a bit fed up with it to be honest um, yeah I like the sound of that shrines and temples provide food equal to their intrinsic faith output I mean that is really good for a, a country full of desert. Um, I need both of those really. I wonder if I can add extra beliefs later on. If I can, I'll go for this because that will help me spread across the desert in Australia make the most of the country, actually. Extra food? Brilliant. Do I get another one? Oh no. Another one. Oh dear. Right. Of different sorts. Oh, there's so many. I can also construct the Gurdwara, plus three faith and plus two food. I don't know if I would need plus two production, really. I'm just browsing through it generally, thinking, what, what do I need? Cheaper missionaries and apostles. Cities start with my religion in place. Oh dear. Culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing a holy site. Extra culture bombs, right. Hmm. Goodness me. Extra gold. Extra culture. science and gold or gold extra faith if I push it hard so many possibilities I'm already getting extra food so let me go for extra production so that it's balanced a bit. For extra science, I'm just going to have to build campuses, right? So, shrines and temples give me food, meeting houses give me production, right? Brilliant. Okay. Goodness knows if I'll be able to remember all that. It's it's kind of complicated for my brain, which doesn't think in those terms. May the 
forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. New government. Ooh. I'm not going to have combat anytime soon, really. That's plus one boost to all yields in the capital. And 10% bonus on wonder production. Very good. Or I can have districts receive a plus one amenity, which would be useful. Plus, I can probably boost my wonder production with one of these if I want to, if I have a classical republic. Let's go for it for fun. I want to do, I want to settle like crazy to start with. First envoy will count as two envoys, that's great. Two great scientist points per turn. Or I can have a wild card policy of something else. Like wonders are cheaper. Or even cheaper production was builders. Well, I'm gonna buy them if it, I'm making plenty of money, so I can just buy them. Um, great scientist points might be nice because I'm not doing much science yet. But there are wonders sitting around, but well, it's... I don't know. We'll do something, and then we'll see. Military tradition. Don't know what it does, and might as well have it. Well, actually, it improves combat combat slightly because you get flanking bonuses. A man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically bigger than a man on foot. If I put him there, one, two, three, it's not going to cover Tasmania, is it? Put him there, it's a bit close to Sydney. Here. Well, just about stretched to Tasmania eventually, I don't know. Who needs it, eh? I don't know. And why are there no barbarians yet? I know there's not much water there. The water next to the, the river, that's why it's green, because there's plenty of water there. My inclination is to move over a bit, so I'm a little bit closer to these guys. I don't get the cotton. I get some cotton from there. I'll get cotton eventually if I were there. E. Of course, I've got to go and populate the desert shortly because I'm a, a holy sieve. I should probably be planting my sieve up here somewhere, my city. So maybe one here and one up there, so come over a little bit. This 
will allow me to build harbours. I think I'm way ahead on religion. I don't think anybody else has founded a religion yet. Just some pantheons. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. I don't underrate the value of military. Yeah, yeah. My scout. Faster movement in woods and rainforest. Faster movement on hill terrain. Indeed, right. True civic. Drama and poetry for culture purposes. That is the first hour. So I'll see you in part two. If the sound is good enough, I'll carry on playing. It may be a bit breaking up, as I say, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Bye for now.